In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at working with the glam actions and how to take the default look of each action and sort of play with it and customize it to something that's more suited to your photo. So we're in Photoshop here, and the first thing we want to do is load our actions. So if we just go up to the window menu and select actions, you'll see that the actions window will pop up. Next, what we want to do is in the top right hand corner, we've got this little icon. If you click on that scroll down to load actions and find where you saved out your action uh, and just double click to load it and you'll see that it loads up in our actions panel here with all our actions inside the folder so they're very simple to use all we need to do is select an action and click play and you'll see Photoshop working here and building our layers so here's a look here, uh, and one thing you might want to do is rename these actions to something that's more memorable to you. So, for example, this one we might want to call blue yellow, or we might just want to rate it, you know, out of five stars. Uh, let's just go back to blue yellow, like that, and we can just delete this folder and apply a different look. Let's try 12. <clears throat> okay, so there's our result. So now let's go through and take a look at the folder structure. So what we have is our folder with all our effects and our base photo. The base photo uh, remains unaffected by the effects. So if we click on the visibility of the folder, it will add all what's in this folder to our bottom image. So let's take a look at what we can do here with the folder. The folder blend mode is set to pass through. So what we can do initially with this is that we can scroll down through the blending mode and you can see there's a whole heap of different results we can get just through uh, changing the blend mode of the whole folder. So that's something you can experiment with. So we'll put this back to pass through. Uh, another thing we can do is click on the folder and move the entire thing around like this. So we can move uh, all the glows together uh, wherever we want. Okay. And next, let's go inside our folder. And what we have here is our colored layers. Now the colors sort of indicate uh, groups of layers. So the top one we have here controls, uh, it's a quick way to change the color of the glow. So if I just turn the visibility off for glow number one, you'll see how that one affects the photo. Now if I double click on this icon here, I can just scroll through this hue slider and it will change the color of that glow. All right? We can also increase the saturation of that glow and we can change the brightness just like that okay we can also change the blend mode of this adjustment layer so we can set this to overlay just scroll through and you see we get very subtle uh, results so I'll put this back to normal and so the layer below is the actual glow layer. So we'll turn this off on and off again. You can see the effect. Now if I double click on this icon here, we can go inside and uh, work with the original gradient. So if I click on this here, we can work to build our own gradients. We can change the angle. If you want, you can change the scale. So that's there to play with if you want it. One other things we can do is see this blue glow here. We can, uh, of course, move it where we want, and we can also scale it. So if I select this layer, hit Control T, I can make this glow bigger, just like that. Okay, and if we want another glow, another blue glow we can duplicate this layer so on a PC I'm holding down ALT and I'll click on it and I'll drag it down so it creates a copy of the layer 
and I can move that around and I can do the same I can control the color of this one I can click on this layer here hold down alt click and drag below that layer and if I hold alt between these two layers you see that little arrow uh, with the square box if I click on that it'll confine this adjustment layer to this layer below so I can double click on here and change the color of that glow okay so next down the bottom we have uh, each action creates four basic photo adjustments for you to work with so this top one beauty glow will add just a little bit of glow to your image so you can select that and you can change the opacity you see I'm dragging the opacity up there next we have black and white that will just basically kill all the colors in your photo so the only colors that will come through are from the glows and a little tip if you use black and white we can duplicate a adjustment layer these human saturation layers hold down alt drag it above our folder layer and what we can do here this acts as like a master control for our colors so we can double click and this one slider will affect all the colors inside this folder but I only recommend using this technique if you use if you have black and white selected okay so let's now open up another photo so we'll just close this and we'll open up this photo here zoom out and let's play let's go down the bottom here we'll try let's try 32 okay so there's our look here and again you can experiment with just moving layers around now one tip if you find that uh, you'll see there's quite strong this glow if I move it over his face it blows his face out quite a lot there's basically three uh, main blend modes that you want to work with with these glows if you find that the glows are too strong they're blowing out features on your photo I recommend switching it from blend mode linear, linear, linear dodge add to screen it's much softer and it won't blow out your highlights so I can, you can see me moving around here so if I compare it to there's screen and this glow here we'll find that one it's this layer here if I move this over his face you see it blows out the highlights much more okay so one thing we can also do is uh, continue to work with the look of this file so we have our uh, glow that we're happy with now I have a, another item called uh, photo master which basically contains 200 actions to work with the color and contrast of your photo so um, you can go to my graphic river profile to check that out uh, I have it installed here as a quick demonstration so inside our master looks folder I can just scroll down and these are all the looks you can apply to your photo they apply different color grades and different contrast looks so just for example we can play one at the top here uh, ooh, actually before we do this um, I forgot to mention that once we're happy with our look what we can do is we can go layer uh, merge visible right so it's basically merged every layer where the visibility was turned on it's crushed it down just to one layer so we weren't using these so we can delete those layers so now we're left uh, with our background layer so now with these actions I can just click play and you can see we can work uh, with the layer uh, sorry with the color of that action and we can also work with the luminosity which is basically like the contrast and brightness so I can drag that up and down to see its effect and inside our master contrast folder at the top uh, we have an action called HDR strong we can play that and we'll just bring this up the layer order and 
drag the opacity down to zero and slightly drag it up something about 40 percent and what we can do is we can go finish sharpen which will flatten these three layers that we worked with and add some sharpening to it 33 percent is good so now we have our final image we can delete these three layers and so here was our original um, look just with glam applied and this is working with 200 pro actions to uh, just enhance the quality uh, color and contrast of your image.